Jesus Christ. I had to do this recently where someone asked me what kind of music you played, and they, I didn't want to assume they wouldn't know what I was going on about if I tried to explain it. But I would just, yeah, rather than make them feel stupid, I was like, uh, I was like kind of getting into it, like, and then as I was explaining it, they were like, oh, what, like grunge music? I was like, yeah, it's like grunge music. <laughs> but it really isn't. Um, <laughs> I think with this new album we've recorded, I would say jazz punk is the best way to describe <laughs> what we play. In the United Kingdom, we make pessimistic music for optimists. <laughs> I think jazz punk is probably the, the closest to what we... Yeah, I think that's the most accurate with the sound and a bunch of words have ever been to kind of working together. But in the past, it's always been a bit of a struggle finding... Well, I, mean, uh, I think you went with euphoric nihilism, didn't you? Yeah, but that was just because uh, I, th- I felt like... Um, people were saying we were shoegaze. People were saying we were shoegaze <laughs> and I was getting fed up with to that. Be fair, so... I, to be fair, I did put in our Facebook description at one point, shoegaze grunge. Oh, so it's your fault. Well, no. <laughs> but... <laughs> You, you got to remember, if you want to get gigs, unfortunately, and this is this is the shit bit about being a band in two thousand and seventeen, or for the last even seven years, or maybe forever. I don't know. It's just that you need to you need to give it a label because otherwise, people aren't going to take that first step and listen to it and give it a chance, you know. And so, I think that original sound did have elements of those two things. So I don't think it was completely yeah, inaccurate, yeah, yeah, yeah. but we kind of very quickly moved away from that, and then. But I think that's the thing with local bands in general and smaller bands and signed bands is that they can stick about for years. They can play for like 25 years. And, you know, in some local bands in Portsmouth have played for like 25 years. And the thing is, the sound changes. I think people, when they hear us, if they come to a gig of ours and have not seen us for three years, like, it sounds really different. And we're like, well, of course, it's been three years. You yeah. know, successful, like, commercial bands don't sound the same, at least the good ones, they don't sound the same after two or three years. It always evolves. <laughs> We're at the Park Studio, which is uh, a place we've practiced for a couple of years now. It's um, on the back of uh, our friend Max's parents' house. I mean, this is the first time we've been up in a while, but we've been doing other things, like recording and stuff, like because the way we do it, we don't obviously go to one place, so we sporadically go to different places, and the, the nature of our recordings are a bit different, so. We haven't recorded everything here, but we've recorded all the drums here, um, just because it's a good room. Is there some good. And again. Right. No. Oh no! Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Thank you. I'll laugh. Right. It's my cousin. Okay. I'll laugh. Started out playing music like about 14, 15, 16. Um, it was the staples, so Foo Fighters, Queens of the Stone Age, Nirvana. Dave uh, Grohl, Dave Grohl. Yeah, Dave just, Grohl. I was just going to say Tenacious D as well, so I realised <laughs> it's Dave Grohl pretty much. Um, <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> yeah, uh, as uh, it's progressed over the years, that now it's things like uh, Death Grips and Kendrick Lamar, Kanye West, Free Trap Tigers, things like that. I think I kind of correlates with the band, how we've progressed and become more complex and better, if, if dare I say it. <laughs> good there's usable stuff in there uh, but we'll do the whole thing again just so we got like plenty of takes to choose from
So you're missing out the first beat of the bar and then doing the second and third and then missing out the fourth again. It's it's a it's a bit odd. Um But that's what he does usually. Yeah. Uh okay, I'll try and give you a bit more click volume. Tracking out the songs. It's yeah, really cool. the songs themselves, the arrangements, they're very kind of timey. I use the word, I use the expression timey wimey, is where they the time signatures change and the tempos change. So it's you know, a visual example of up and down, it's, it's a lot going on. And to you, if we follow, we follow a click track, so we need to make sure we get all of that mapped out and to stay in time perfectly has been we. Do. Well, more specifically, <laughs> that our, our drummer, <laughs> our drummer needs to stay in time. So he's got, yeah, Joff definitely has probably had the hardest job. Yeah, yeah. and I hate recording as well. So. <laughs> <laughs> We had a really nice run of a couple of years where the band funded itself almost because we had gigs all the time and but there's loads of venues have closed down in Portsmouth um, well over the country really and it's it's harder for a band like us especially playing the music that we do to actually find places that where we fit and I guess we've we've recently kind of decided maybe to let go of some of our Prejudice, prejudices maybe and actually compromise a little more with lineups that we're on and mm. things like that and actually just get back to how we were when we started out and just play anything and just play and play and play okay might be good are you just making me do that now yeah oh for fuck's sake <laughs> let's do a take swallowed up consumer syrup Sticky, sweet, completely tasteless. Hallowed screens, electric heavens. Be careful not to drool. It's really loud. Uh, what, the vocals or the track? The vocals. Okay, I can bring them down. Is that why it sounds like it's distorting? What does it sound like in there? Well, it sounds like it's distorting, Matt. What Rob said about, and what Matt was saying about the vocals and how um, you, it's not that your vocals have necessarily got better, it's that what you've realised is exactly what you're good at. And I think the band's always been quite good creatively as well, not just with the band, but with other things that we do is kind of realising like limitations and knowing where there, there's a line with some things and where there's other directions. I think that goes with, like, it goes back to like the little MP3 recording thing. It goes to how we record and make films and things like that. It's always about knowing what you have and what you can do with it. And that's mm. the DIY element of it. Actually, I think is, is knowing what I wanted to do with it is uh, that's sort point, of um, yeah. realising that I was changing my voice and then learning that I didn't have to do that. Um, because everyone, I, I was putting on like sort of a sort of American accent. Some people do when they sing sometimes. I'm not sure if people listen to American music, don't they? So they put on a, an American accent. And uh, I think I, I almost got this sort of disassociation with my voice on the recordings. And I didn't like that. I wanted my, I wanted my accent to be in the music. And I, I lost, tried to get rid of all the pretenses about what I was doing as a vocalist and to sound like I am. And that's why I've really enjoyed like things like sort of uh, the grime music and stuff is hearing British accents in music um, because it's authentic. I think anyway. Yeah, no, I agree, and I don't think it's yeah. I think it's just about yeah. If you're from wherever you're from, you need to kind of like yeah, just be yourself basically. I, I don't want to say too much about place because I don't. No, it's know, not about it's place. Not like it's a nationalist. more perspective it's no, not a very it, poppy weird kind of like you need to be british That's it's not that it's not more it. about being who you are and presenting your identity through your music your art or whatever it's not trying to do someone else's message through something that you're doing because it's not going to work this song is about praying or you know kind of chanting for a meteor to destroy the world 
it's true. That's genuinely what it's about. And it's about people being pleased that the world is going to destroy them. <laughs> Typically happy song that I write. Narcissistic boys! Enigmatic girls! Come, my fuck! We haven't actually worked out how we're going to do this logistically because Joff's got a graphics tablet thing and we're like, well, we might arrange it. Yeah. So the idea is, at the moment, this is the first idea, is to have kind of like the Black Flag record with the four bars, mm -hmm. but instead you have like these sort of tarot card images and it, they're the central ones. And it sort of the other ones are panned out to the sides, so you get this kind of sweep of an image and then have it the name because the name's not actually been on any of the covers yet <laughs> and then the album name below it so kind of like the closer one as well the joy division yeah. one but also with this so it's got this there's homages there but it's still this distinctly kind of odd mix of old and it's it's just it's an idea we're running with at the moment, whether it actually looks yeah. good in itself. Individually they look great. They're like we've worked hard on it. Yeah. It's, well, I'm, some I'm of these proud songs of what we've got so far. Some of the songs that like we'd are have to on really there. fuck up tr guitar tracking to make <laughs> it not sound good at this point. Some of the songs we've been working on for like two years and things like that and we've re it's been a slow brew, but I think when it's done I think that yeah, I, I'm happy with it already, and it's not done yet. So, <laughs> have you decided on a title for it? Uh, well, I, I, I sort of put a title out there to these two, but Joff wasn't there, so um, I, we could do it on okay. camera. Yeah. Do, you to, um, do you want to get down on your knee? You know? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah the, the title that I thought of was Ascension, because one, it's one of the song names. Two, it's a John Coltrane reference. And three, I think it doesn't uh, sort of. Ties up a lot of the themes and stuff. Sounds nice. like an album, though. Yeah, yeah I think. <laughs>